Friday. It's Friday already, September 4th. Yesterday, I was just doing a whole lot of typing. I was preparing a um, sales page for my Patreon page on my blog. So because, you know, I have my Patreon page, but um, I get a lot of uh, questions from people like, okay, what is Patreon and can you explain how it works and all of that. And I realized that I don't have a landing page on my blog for that. So I thought that would be useful. So I've been working on, uh, yeah, I have been working on that uh, together with my virtual assistant, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, so yes, I hired a virtual assistant for the first time last month and um, it's been really exciting. So this is our first big project. First we were looking at my website and how to update it and um, how to, you know, have automatic backups and all of that because I don't know a lot about that and she does. So that is awesome. And so I was working on my Patreon page yesterday and then uh, I did some coach training. I've been, um, um, I'm in this new coaching program and coaching is just so important to me and um, it really keeps me motivated and, um, you know, it keeps me from breaking down every, <laughs> every other day uh, because, you know, one month may be great and then the next month you think, oh no, I can't do this and uh, um, so um, a coaching program is really helpful for just a pep talk that, you know, I just need. Uh, so I was doing a lot of that yesterday and then today, this morning actually, while I was uh, blow drying my hair, which always takes a while, so so I have a lot of time to think. <laughs> and this design idea just struck, and um, I raced to my desk. I was still <laughs> in my underwear, <laughs> but I just okay. I sketched out this whole idea, and then I grabbed some yarn. Not the yarn I'm gonna use, but uh, I grabbed just some yarn that I had on hand made a little swash I cannot show you because it is a sacred project um but yeah inspiration just hit and um I did some sketching I did some swashing I did some um writing down of the pattern and now I am ordering the yarn for it so one of my sample makers can go ahead and make that uh, because one of the things that I'm also looking forward or, or outsourcing at the moment is sample making because I cannot make all the things uh, even though I want to. Uh, it's one of the things that I like but um, if I can't get it done in time then it's super super stressful and also you know sample making is what takes up the most time um, that I could actually be putting towards designing so um, yes I'm outsourcing that um, which has been great uh, but it also feels kind of weird to not do everything myself um, I am kind of a control freak, so <laughs> yes, but uh, so I have that design on the way. I left my sock um, downstairs, a sock with the leaves on it that I am also working on. So that is going to be an ebook of at least three sock patterns. I have another yarn combination here. So, um, I do have the first pair of socks here. So this was the first, the first pair, first design, and um, I am going to finish writing up the pattern and um, sending it to testers um, because this new heel needs some testing. So it is a gusset and short row, uh, which 
is amazing for colorwork socks because if you've knit colorwork socks before you know that they are a little bit more um, they are less stretchy so a bit of extra room for the heel that is really what you want so um, I'm going to finish up that pattern and send it to testers today and then uh, I'm still working on the leaf sample that will be kind of the same it will be the same pattern but with a different chart obviously and different uh, colors for the sample and so I'm making an ebook and it's going to be the subtle sock collection because uh, the contrast here is really subtle and so this was my first sock and the first part of that, I was just like, is this going to be contrasting enough? Because I thought, mm, that's not going to show up very well. And one of the yarns um, doesn't have that much stitch definition. It's a little bit fluffy. So I can imagine that after a bit of wear, that it will kind of merge into each other. Uh, but then, you know, um, the variegated yarn got a little bit lighter, which is great. And for the second sock, it was much lighter. So the pattern is much more visible here. So that is amazing. And for my second sample, the um, or second pattern, the, the leaf socks, which is really, um, this is going to be really on brand for me because I am new leaf designs and the variegated colorway that I'm using is uh, my blogger yarn that uh, I produce with Scapius. Um, so it's, it's the same line as this one, it's called Our Tribe and yeah the name is a little bit problematic but um, I, I don't know if they're going to change that. Um, but uh, so we, we that is our blogger yarn. So this yarn that you see at the base here is uh, by Rochelle from or Rachel from um, Cypress Textiles. And then the colorway that I'm using for my leaf socks uh, is my colorway, the new leaf colorway. And then, you know, I'm using a leaf colorwork pattern. So that is working out really well. And... Uh, since that was also a really subtle color work pairing, I thought, okay, why not just uh, continue in that trend? Uh, so I have this pairing, which I think is beautiful. Um, this looks to be a little bit darker. This part in particular. So I think that will be very subtle, but uh, the rest will be more visible. So I'm looking forward to that. This is Simi 2, the colorway, and I'm pairing it with Metropolis, and this is a Deep Dipok, colorway 26. Um, uh, I just love pairing a var variegated yarn with a solid color yarn for color work. Um, so that is going to be the third um, yarn pairing. Um, or the yarn pairing for the third pattern and then I am I'm trying to find a similarly low contrast pairing for a fourth pair but uh, I haven't found that yet in my stash so I might have to order uh, a color of our drive or I might just leave it at three patterns for an ebook I mean three patterns for an ebook is okay right it is. Um, I would love it to be four, but um, we'll see. So yeah, I'm going to be writing up this pattern today and I've just uh, worked on the new design and yep, it's already two o'clock so I don't think I'll get anything else done today. So we'll see. <laughs>